Hi YouTube, I am finally here making an update. I apologize for the lighting, it's terrible in here. Um, we are in a temporary apartment and I call it the cave because everywhere is dark and that's just how it is. Um, it's hot, we have no air conditioning so I have to kind of keep the windows pulled most of the time just to keep the house cool. Anyway, gonna make my update. So sorry for the lighting, sorry if it's kind of dark, hopefully you can see me okay. Um, just got back from my prenatal appointment. I am 15 weeks, officially, well, I think I have like one more day and I'm 15 weeks. Uh, the baby is the size of an avocado, I believe. And at the appointment this week, it was nothing super special since we just had the NT scan at my last appointment at 13 weeks. Um, so basically she got out the Doppler, listened for the heart rate right away. Um, I am nervous for every single appointment. I thought it was going to go away after the NT scan, after we saw that everything was still looking really good, that I would be okay and I wouldn't be nervous, but I was super nervous going in today. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because like two days ago I was having some cramping and I wasn't feeling very good and I always think the worst when that happens now. Um, but obviously I've had like no bleeding, I've had nothing, nothing Nothing that should scare me, so there was no reason for me to be worried. I just, I was. It was irrational. Um, so, checked for the heart rate. Heart rate, found it right away. Super strong, she said. That is a healthy baby. Heart rate was 148 this week. Um, at the NT scan, I believe it was 158. So it has gone down a little, but the baby's gotten bigger, so I guess that's pretty normal. Um... I am, I've gained six pounds with this pregnancy so far at 15 weeks, which I think is pretty good um, as far as the weight gained goes. I'm obviously up higher than I would like to be at this point in my pregnancy, mainly because I started out higher than I would have hoped uh, due to previous pregnancies and the miscarriage. Um, I'd gained weight with my miscarriage, miscarried pregnancy that I never lost before I got pregnant again since we started trying right away. So... That's, you know, it is what it is, and I'll lose the weight once I have a baby. So, the only other thing I had to talk about that kind of sucks, but it kind of explains why I've been feeling so crappy this pregnancy, is that I am super, super anemic, and I mentioned it in my last video, I believe. Um, they've been doing blood work. She just took some more blood for me today because I've been trying to bump up my iron supplements and take more iron and also vitamin D, um, and also taking my iron with vitamin C to help it absorb better. I don't think my iron deficiency is stemming from my weight loss surgery. I think that it is more likely um, the residuals from my miscarriage and all the blood loss that I had. Uh, the doctor said that it can take a while for the blood work for it to all register within the body and to show up on uh, blood work so it's possible that this is still anemia stemming from the hemorrhaging anyway I think I don't think I need to tell you I have papers here that I'm looking at in case you're wondering I don't think you need to know my exact levels but they are to the point where I need iron infusions which I'm probably gonna start soon she uh, did draw blood today and she was gonna check it one more time because I have bumped my iron consumption and she's gonna check it and if, if I'm making any progress with the extra supplementation, then maybe we can skip the infusions. But you know what? I'm not opposed to an infusion because I feel crappy. And if it's going to help me feel better, and if it's going to... I'm just not opposed to it. It's not a blood product. It's not like I'm getting a blood transfusion. It's iron. And it looks like... She was explaining... A lot of you have had these. I know it's pretty common with people who've had weight loss surgery that you become anemic and you need iron infusions and it's really not a big deal. You go in, they put an IV in you and you get this fluid that looks like Coca-Cola and it's iron. It goes right into your blood and you're like instantly re-upped on your iron levels. So, you know what? If that's going to help me, then that's what I'm going to do. So she's going to let me know in the next couple days when that blood comes back. Um... The next thing to do is to schedule my uh, anatomy scan, which we finally will get to find out what we're having, thank goodness, because it's driving me nuts. I've done every wives' tale you can think of. I've looked on the Chinese gender chart. Um, I just had a debate with 
some friends about what side of the excuse me really burpy what side of the uterus that the placenta implants on is means it's a boy or a girl and oh my god like every wise tale says that I'm having a boy um the side of the uterus thing is up in the air because I swear from my ultrasound picture it looks like it's in the right smack center of my uterus my friend was saying that's not possible it has to be on one side or the other I don't know um yeah so every wife's tale I peed on the baking soda that said it was a boy um Chinese gender chart says boy which is pretty interesting to me because with my boys all the wife's tales and then both for the Chinese gender chart said girl they Supposedly they were both supposed to be girls and they ended up being boys. Now this one, everything's pointing to boy. Does that mean it's going to be a girl? Is this going to be the time that everything's correct? I don't know. This is not helping me at all because I'm going insane waiting to find out because I just want to know. We have names picked out either way. I like both names. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited to know what we're having. I want to know if little Roswell is going to have a baby brother to play with or a little baby sister to protect and love. I just don't know. Um, there's nothing really else on this paper for me to talk about. Yeah, so my next update, um, I think I skipped a week, skipped week 14. Uh, I'm kind of at that point in the pregnancy where there's not a whole lot exciting going on. We're sort of waiting to find out what the gender is. And then after we find out the gender, it's gonna be kind of a lot of more boring stuff, a lot of more can't talk today. I think I need a nap. That's the problem. Um, I've said um a million times. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go. This video is not that great anyway. It's super dark. Uh, we're probably gonna be gone this weekend. We're going on a camping trip just because we don't want to sit around this apartment. It's kind of depressing. Um, as far as my move goes, I need to stop saying um. It's driving me nuts. As far as the move goes, I don't know if we're going anymore. We don't know. It's up in the air. We're sort of rethinking the whole California thing. Housing is super difficult to come by down there. Everything is really expensive and there are bidding wars going on and the market is so crazy that it's going to be super difficult for us to get into anything, especially being out of state buyers. It's next to impossible for us to get a hold of a house when we're not down there physically. Um, so I don't know, we're just rethinking it. Our money goes so much further here where we're living and there's really no reason why my husband has to transfer. We just thought we wanted to live down there and so the opportunity was presented to him and we were gonna take it. But we're not sure, we're reconsidering. Um, we'll see what happens, I don't know. So for now, we're stuck in this little apartment and waiting to see what's going to happen, which I don't like because I'm hoping to be settled in somewhere new and comfortable by Christmas, at least. That would be lovely because the baby's due February 2nd and I have them at least two weeks early. I'm going to say two weeks early, so middle of January, I'm going to be having this baby. I really want to be in our house by Christmas able to settle in and get ready for this baby. So send me some good juju. Um, whatever you got, prayers, thoughts, I will take it. I, we just need some direction at this point to see where we're going. So, all right, thanks for watching and I will see you all again soon. Uh, hopefully before my anatomy scan, if something interesting happens, I'll try to continue with the weekly updates, but just kind of boring. So make healthy choices. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.